What I want to do today is I want to talk to you about three great ways to get cheaper clicks from Google AdWords. Google AdWords is an awesome traffic source if you know how to use it right. At the same time, it can pretty much destroy your credit card in you know about a day. So we want to figure out how to get cheaper, cheaper clicks so you can actually turn a profit with this traffic source. Now, my name is Jason Nyback. I'm one of the leading experts in the world on how to get more traffic using long-term automated traffic systems. So let's talk about this strategy with Google AdWords. The biggest problem most marketers have in terms of using this traffic source is somehow figuring out how to make more than you spend. That's the bottom line. It, it, the, the biggest, I would say one of the biggest problems with, with Google AdWords is they just make it so easy, right? Like literally assuming that, you know, you've got a good landing page, that everything you're doing is legitimate and good. You pass the quality scores. You can have traffic like boom, you've got traffic. Things are moving They're You know, your credit cards getting billed and you know, you're buying a lot of traffic and that's the beauty of Google the, or in terms of AdWords. It's phenomenal how fast you can get traffic with this source. The problem is you got to make it convert because it's really easy to get lazy and just be like, well, I think it's going to work. I hope it's going to work. Well, I don't know if it's going to work. Oh my goodness. It never worked. Oh my goodness. My credit card's maxed out, right? So how do we make more money than, or, or get cheaper clicks? The first thing you need to do is you need, number one, stop bidding on one word keywords, okay? This is something you wanna do once you're really profitable and really good at AdWords. For example, if you're in the dog training market, you're, you're probably not going to want to bid on the term dog because it's so broad. I mean, somebody types in dog, you have no idea what they're typing in, uh, what like in terms of like the psychology behind that thought process, you don't even know, you have no idea. So stay away from one keyword terms. And in some cases, you might even wanna stay away from two keyword terms because initially your best conversions are gonna come from the keywords that make the most sense. So how to train your dog is going to be a very qualified keyword, right? Um, and then versus like dog training. They might be thinking dog training school, dog training, you know, kennel, dog, you know, you just don't know uh, necessarily. So what you wanna do is, is not necessarily go after like every foot long keyword that's 14 different words, right? You wanna make sure though that it makes sense. You're gonna get less traffic doing this when you start out. However, usually in most cases, the long tail keyword, the longer one is, is like that makes sense, like how to train your dog, is generally, all things being equal, gonna outconvert the term dog training and almost most definitely dog. The other thing you're gonna realize is your on-page factors are gonna be a lot higher. So it's gonna look a lot better for Google. They're gonna like it a lot better. They're gonna see better interaction. Second thing you wanna do in order to get cheaper clicks is you've got to, without question, make sure you split test your ads. The bottom line is that in most cases, Google will reward you with a lower cost per click if you can increase your click-through rate. Okay, this is very important. Now your click-through rate on your ads, the way to increase that is to split test different ads. Always have two or three split tests going all the time. It's not hard, but it's one of those things that's like, it's not really hard, but it's easy to neglect. And, and just by doing that, you can massively not only increase your traffic, because if you double your click-through rate, that essentially means you double the amount of traffic you're getting, right? And when you double the amount of traffic you're getting, what that's gonna do is give you more traffic. And it's also gonna increase your click-through rate, which Google's gonna likely put you higher in a bid position, which will likely even get you more traffic and, and then it just snowballs from there. And if you get a lower bid price, hey, you win. The third thing you need to do is you have to make sure you use the conversion tracking that Google has. Because what that's gonna do, it's gonna tell you which keywords are not converting, okay? And it's very, it's very again, very easy not to use it, but you've gotta use it because 
what that's going to do is going to show, okay, keyword XYZ is not converting, ABC, all these other things. And you just start hacking them out, get them out, get them out, delete them, delete them, delete them. Or it's going to show you how much you're paying for a click versus how much you're getting in terms of a lead value, maybe an opt-in, a sale, whatever it is, whatever your conversion is. And you're going to be able to know what the value of that lead is so that you can adjust your pay cost per click. You might find that your opt-in newsletter subscriber is costing you $3 to get for dog training when essentially you need to get them for a buck. So then you can just drop your cost per click down by 66% and hey, if, it, if, 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 it, if the traffic drops, so be it. But it's gonna drop down to profitability in most cases. So get on those things and you know what? There is hope and there's a lot of great traffic on AdWords. You just gotta do it right. So what I want you to do is head over to snowballsecrets.com or click the link below this video and I want to give you access to a video that shows you how I was able to get over 1.2 million visitors to my niche market websites using the Snowball traffic system and how you can use this system too to grow your business, get more automated traffic and have more success online. So see you over there. Take care.